Astro is an all-in-one web framework for building blazing fast content-focused websites like blogs or doc sites. It lets you develop with your favorite front-end frameworks like Vue, and every component is rendered to static HTML and ships zero JavaScript to the user by default. This means better first load performance on your content pages. Most other web frameworks hydrate your app with JavaScript on the initial page load. This turns your website into a single page application with interactivity via event listeners and where all subsequent navigation and rendering happens client-side. Astro, on the other hand, creates a multi-page application. With single-page apps, someone's initial request will get HTML from the server, and then their browser will hydrate that web page with JavaScript. Then future navigation will use this JavaScript to produce the new page's HTML. Whereas with multi-page apps, every time we navigate, we make a request to get that HTML from the server. Deciding between a single-page and multi-page app depends on the type of project you're building. Interaction-heavy applications that are very dynamic are great to build with single-page tools like Nux, whereas content-heavy websites with less interaction are the perfect use case for Astro. But of course, even with static sites, there's going to be places where we want to provide user interaction. In Astro, we have specific control over how and when to hydrate components through partial hydration and the island's architecture. Most frameworks will fully hydrate your web app into a single page app when the page is first loaded. This can mean longer time to interactive since the JavaScript for your entire page runs on the initial load. However, with Astro, Astro's islands architecture, each component is handled individually like an island. By default, these different islands will be rendered as static HTML without any JavaScript. However, if an island requires interactions, we can tell Astro to hydrate that specific component. Let's install and start building a simple Astro app. But first, I want to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Vue.js Forge. A couple weeks ago, I talked about the first Vue.js Forge event, and it was a great success with over 2,500 devs showing up to build apps. If you missed out on the first one, I got great news for you. The folks over at Vue School have just announced the second episode of Vue.js Forge, happening on August 30 and 31. It's a hands-on event where you team up with other Vue enthusiasts and build a full e-commerce store from the ground up using tools like Vue, Pinia, Vue Router, and more. Vue.js Forge is brought to you by Vue School, and there's going to be a huge crowd of you experts there they'll be guiding your project with live coding session and best of all it's a free event so make sure to hit the link in the description and sign up all right let's get back to the video to create our astro app let's say yarn create astro walk through the builder and then cd into our project and say yarn dev to start our app and if we look at the browser, we can see the boilerplate for our Astro app. And if we open our project folder in VS Code, there are three folders inside source for components, layout, and pages. Components contains reusable components for our app. And if we look at card, we can see a good example of how to use props in Astro. Layouts are reusable page templates that provide a page shell, such as the HTML head and body, as well as a slot that can be used to inject content from our page components. And pages contain the individual pages of our app. Astro uses based routing, so every .astro file in our pages directory becomes a page in our app based on its file path. And since we only have pages slash index, that means that we only have a home page in our Astro app. Let's open index.astro. At the top, we have our script section, which can be JavaScript or TypeScript, where for this example, we import our layout in our card component. Then we use our layout and pass in this content as a slot. Each Astro component styles are scoped by default. And this works similar to view scope styles, where styles will only affect elements in the component where they're written. So now that we know the basics of our Astro app, let's see how we can start using view components. Like we mentioned earlier, you can write components in any front-end framework and even use multiple frameworks inside the same Astro project. But this is LearnView, so we're just going to be using Vue. To add Vue to our Astro project, we can say yarn Astro add Vue. And this adds all of our dependencies and updates the config of our Astro app to let us use Vue components. Then let's go to our components folder and let's create a simple component called counter.view. And then we can write just our ordinary view code. This is that counter component that every tutorial shows where we have a button that increments a ref when clicked. To use this on our homepage, we have to import it and add it to our HTML. So if we open up our app, we can see that our component is rendering, but if we click our button, nothing happens. And once again, this is because Astro strips all of the JavaScript by default and just gives us the rendered HTML. For example, if we built our site and looked at the network tab, if we filter by JavaScript, we'll see that there's nothing being loaded. If we want this interaction to work, we have to tell Astro to hydrate this island or component. The easiest way to do this is to go to our component in our HTML and add the client load directive, which will load and hydrate our component's JavaScript immediately on our page load. Now, if we go back, we can click our button and our count will update. 
Alternatively, instead of using the client load directive, we can say client visible. And this will use an intersection observer to track the visibility of our component and only load and hydrate it once it's entered the viewport. Let's move our counter all the way to the bottom of our index.astro file, and let's give it a huge top margin. If we look at the network tab, when our page loads, we'll see that counter is not running its JavaScript. However, once we scroll down and counter enters the viewport, that's when we can see it in the console. So that's all for this video. Hopefully gave you a quick introduction to using Astro and Vue. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more Astro and Vue tutorials. I think it's pretty cool and I definitely want to play around with it more. And if you all are interested, I'll definitely make some more videos. But as always, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.